Hello there. Welcome to part one of our four-part series, Frescoes and Pharaohs. This first video is going to introduce you to just one part of a grand story, our collective story. My teammates and I are going to show you a very long time ago in a very specific place. We are going to explore together a period called the Bronze Age in a place called Avarice. My name is Joe, and I'll be starting us off along with my teammates Julia, Calista, and Rhea on this journey into the ancient Minoan frescoes found at Avarice. To set the stage for our journey, we must go all the way back over 3,000 years to get to the Bronze Age. The timing of the Bronze Age varies from place to place, but is generally regarded to have lasted from about 3,000 BC to 1,000 BC. This was a time of limited yet growing culture, art, trade, and interaction. That is just what was happening in this place, the Eastern Mediterranean, between the Minoans and the Hyksos. The Minoans, from the Greek island of Crete, were a seafaring people who dominated the seas over a thousand years before the rise of ancient Athens and Sparta. The Hyksos were a group of people that migrated south from the Levant to the Nile River Delta. They established the 15th Egyptian dynasty, a rival to other Egyptian dynasties from the same time period. The Hyksos ruled from their capital of Avaris the modern-day archaeological site of Tel El Daba in Egypt. Now let's take a closer look at Avarice. Archaeological digs at Tel El Daba began at the end of the 18th century and continued on and off in the 20th century until it came under the direction of the Austrian Archaeological Institute. You can see on this map green outline buildings where the remains of the wondrous Minoan frescoes that we are studying were found. While the Hyksos were ruling in Egypt, this city was their capital. As the capital, it served as the center of political, cultural, and religious life for the Hyksos, as well as a center for trade with other people. Located in an ideal location near the Nile River, it was a major hub for trade between Egypt, the Levant, Cyprus, and the Aegean Sea. However, what made Avarice really interesting is the presence of Minoan-style art and wall frescoes. Very few examples of this type of art exist outside of Crete, the presence of this art, as well as other Minoan artifacts in Egypt and other Egyptian artifacts on Crete, show that there was a lot of trade and exchange between these peoples. There might have even been Minoan artists living in Avaris alongside their art. Discoveries like these lead us to some very important questions. What was life like for these people? How much interaction was there between the Hyksos and the Minoans, and what was their relationship like? Can we learn anything about ourselves from how these people lived and interacted thousands of years ago. Although it may not seem like it, you can learn a lot about the past and the present from faded frescoes and broken pottery in dusty old palaces. Thank you for watching part one of our four part series. If you would like to know more, please watch the rest of our series led by each of my teammates, Julia, Calista, and Rhea, who will each discuss another aspect of this tremendous story. Thank you.